need a change of scenery. It's not here construction work. <laughs> We've just arrived at the Royal Albert Hall and. Hello, Luna. This is Luna. She's just came to say hello. Max is gonna have it. What is it? A puppy tapas. <laughs> It's gonna, I think it's gonna be a daily vlog. I'm quite excited. I'm in a bit of an odd background here. I'm at the Natural History Museum and I'm very excited. I've got my mask on, but it's quite quiet where I am. There's no one around me, so we're all good. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a tourist today. Basically, my auntie and uncle are in town today, tomorrow, and then they leave Thursday, which is when I'm gonna be presenting the Blogosphere Award. So I thought I'd just do a 24 hour vlog of being a tourist in London. And I'm in the Natural History Museum. I haven't been here in yeah, well, since Covid broke out, which is obviously like a year and a half ago now, so it's crazy, but it's very exciting to be back. It was safe. I did a little donation on the way in just because you can donate where you can. It's only £5. It's free entry, but it's just nice to support where you can. So, my auntie and uncle are already here. They're staying in South Kensington. Um, so we had a lovely dinner last night, which was just so nice. Um, we had them round. We just had a lovely, like, it was like a dinner party. Like, three courses. Zara made a cake. I'll leave a little photo on the screen. It was lovely. So, yeah, I'm going to go and try and find them now. I've just seen they have fantastic beasts and the wonder of nature, so all of the Harry Potter animals are in here. They've got the griffin, the phoenix, any Harry Potter fans will fully understand this. It's a ticketed entry, which is such a shame because I would have loved to go in, but yeah, it looks amazing. Right, I'm just going to go and find my aunt and uncle, they're in the main atrium, so I'll head this way. This is one part of the Natural History Museum. I never go in because there are loads of spiders in there. Not live ones, of course, but it just makes me feel a bit ill, so I never go in this one. walking through um, High Park and we're walking towards Notting Hill. It's a miserable day today, I'm not going to lie, it's fully raining. Um, but Anne and Dave have recently been doing up their bathroom. So I recommended that we could go to Notting Hill and see if they could get any like antique finds. Um, Anne's trying to find a mirror for her bathroom. So I thought we could walk to Notting Hill and we're going to walk via Kensington Palace, which I um, haven't seen in ages. So yeah, I thought I'd pop that in the blog too. But it's very nice to be a tourist in your own city for a day. We've just arrived at the Royal Albert Hall and um, we aren't going in, <laughs> unfortunately. It's amazing. And then that's that's Albert there, isn't it? That's Albert in the um, in the middle. Yeah. It's quite a gloomy day today, unfortunately. I was just saying to Anne and Dave, there's a um, pop-up Van Gogh Alive exhibition. Apparently all of his art moves and comes alive. It's with lights and coloured illusions. So I um, definitely recommend a visit to that. I know a couple of people have gone and they've loved it. This is Kensington Palace and they actually have a fashion exhibition in here as well at the moment. Um, they have Princess Diana's wedding dress along with the Queen and her sister Margaret's um, fashion too. So that would be a nice little spot to visit. Anyway, we're continuing up through Hyde Park in the rain <laughs> um, in the search for some lunch in Notting Hill. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're there when we're out of the rain. So this is the name of the exhibition. It's the Royal Style in the making and it's here until the 2nd of January. So plenty of time and also you can see the palace after you've been there too. So we've came for lunch. Was this place called Uni? It was Uni, wasn't it? Uni? I can't quite remember the name but I think it's called Uni um, and we've ordered some Japanese kind of like Asian food. We've got a soup, a calamari and I've gone for these steamed veggie dumplings which look delicious. I will leave this link down below if I've got the name wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go in for a taste of the dumpling. I'm doing left hand chopsticks. Mm. Mm, thank you. Very good dumpling. So the main courses have arrived. I've gone for black bean with tofu and peppers. And has gone for crispy chili beef and some noodles to share. Some jasmine rice. And then this is uh, crispy pork, right? Minced pork with um, broccoli and green beans. No, green beans. That looks like broccoli. <laughs> so we finished up lunch, which was absolutely delicious. I got the name completely wrong. It was called Uli. U-L-I. So I'll leave that link down below. 
now we're at Portobello Road. Um, obviously it's a Tuesday, so the weekend's probably best to come to Portobello, but it's still nice to see it. And I know a lot of you do love this part of London, so I thought I'd show you it in the vlog. This is one of my favorite stores. This is Alice's. It's a little bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but they have some gorgeous antiques and some lovely bits I might see Van and Dave would like to have a look in. But yeah, this is Portobello Road. It's quite quiet and calm on a midweek. Weekends are when it's very busy and lively, but they've got all the different colored houses. It's very, very synonymous of Notting Hill. So we came to Portobello Road, the gym bar. It's literally just on the corner of um, Talbot Road. I'll leave a link down below. We love Portobello Road gym, and um, it's nice to come in for some cocktails. So I took the waitress's recommendation and I went for a St. Clemens, which is like a fresh, orangey, citrusy gin. Um, and it's one for a daiquiri. Can you show the daiquiri? Banana and lime. Banana and lime daiquiri. There we are. Like this. Usually daiquiris are um, blended up, but I kind of like that that's just mixed. Have you got it? And Dave's gone for, was this some smoke on the water? Smoky on the water, which is, it's, oh, it smells very nice. It smells really fresh, big old gin glass as well. So um, yeah, we love Portobello Road gin. You can get it on Waitrose Special at the minute. Um, so we're going to give them a taste. Let's try it now. It smells very lemony. They've got the whole bar here and upstairs they actually have a distillery where you can do like um, cocktail masterclasses. It's fab. Hello Luna. This is Luna. She's just came to say hello. She's a lovely little whistler. There we are. Hello lovely. <laughs> this is coach oh, number Christ. five of ten. So we've just, I've just had the quickest change from being with my auntie uncle in town. I've changed shirt, I'm with Zara and little Maggie and we're about to get off the Battersea and have some tapas but I need to get off the train because we're here. So we're just walking through Battersea Park and it feels very like autumnal. The leaves are starting to go brown behind us. The sun's just setting and it's not even six. <laughs> it's just setting behind the trees and the leaves start to go brown. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't think I've said where we're going for dinner. We're going to a place called Brindisa, which is a Spanish tapas bar. Um, I bought my uncle the cookbook, the Brindisa cookbook for his birthday, I think two years ago. Um, so I thought it'd be nice. And it was actually one of the first restaurants we visited, me, myself, obviously, and uh, my aunt and uncle. And that was nearly a decade ago in Borough Market. So a lot of nostalgia. So we're very much looking forward to it. And they're dog friendly, which is brilliant. So Max is gonna have a, what is it, a puppy tapas? A dog tapas. Right. And they have treats, a water, and a dog bed. Yeah, we're if very. The internet doesn't the... lie. <laughs> um, oh, come on, Maggie. We're very lucky in that sense because London's got quite a few dog friendly restaurants, especially in the Battersea area, which is fab. And I think there's a black lab ahead. Oh my god. I think we might start having issues with the dog friendly places when she turns into a big lab. Yeah. But the minute she classes as a small. She's fine. <laughs> And as I said, it's a Spanish tapas restaurant in Battersea, and they are dog friendly. So little Maggie's just chilling here. Look at her go. There we are. She was nearly asleep until food came. <laughs> Apparently, they do um, dog tapas as well. So I might ask and see if they've got a little something for her. But she seems quite content. We've got some padron peppers, a Spanish tortilla, um, some gordal olives or gordal olives. I think it's gordal. Um, another portion of padron, some artichoke, and Dave's got a aubergine. So we're gonna dig in. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I didn't end the vlog last night because we finished up dinner and we just walked, well, we kind of got walked along Battersea with my aunt and uncle and then we, we came home and I was really tired. <laughs> I think because we walked so much around town, obviously in the rain, I was just super sleepy so I did plan on ending the vlog last night. Zara's just here with Maggie. Um, Zara's got a week off this week, so hence why we're having slow mornings. Zara's usually in the office, so she's got Maggie on her lap and she's reading, which would usually be a lovely thing to do. However, opposite us, they've now started removing all of the windows from the flat block opposite us, which is loud and noisy and dusty, and it's just I not. I just think out of the whole block, why have they started with the one opposite us? I know. It's just Starlock. <laughs> So yeah, take weeks. yes, months. We are we 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 are so we're we're not close. Let's be honest, we're not close to the end of our tenancy. It's we're we're still moving in July. Well, summer next year, not July. Summer next year, and it feels very far away. But I know it's not. But I'm ready. I just need a change of scenery. It's not here construction work. 
<laughs> so these are the two suit options that I ordered from ASOS actually, yeah, both from ASOS. So this is like a, it's like a burgundy maroon, almost like a plum um, velvet jacket, which is just gorgeous. And then this, I'm swaying more towards this one just because I love that it's double breasted with the gold hardware detail on the buttons. And um, I ordered a black velvet bow tie. It's um, one that just is adjustable, so I haven't got to worry about it coming undone throughout the evening. But these are the two options. I'm not going to try them on because that'll be in the vlog coming on Sunday. So, yes, I'm very, very excited about these. I just don't know. I don't know which one to go for. I'm just about to head out to meet my auntie and uncle again. And this is the outfit I've gone for. We're actually going out for dinner as well. So I'm going to be out for the whole day. We're not going to come back. So I thought I'd go for something semi-smart. I've got some white trousers, a grey t-shirt, this jacket that I've wore before, um, and some white trainers. So um, yeah, I'm going to go meet them now at Italy, which I have. I think I've vlogged in before. Yeah, it's like the big, huge supermarket in Liverpool Street. So I'm just going to head there now. And then um, we're going to go to Greenwich and actually go in the old Naval College, the painted ceiling that I put in the last vlog. I was telling them about it and they, they really fancied having a look in, so I booked the tickets. They were £12.50 each for an adult, so I don't think that was too bad. Um, so yeah, we're going to head there and then I thought I'd include that in the vlog. I've been reading through the comments of the previous vlog and you all said that it looked amazing. So yeah, I'm very excited. It looks fantastic. So um, let's go. <laughs> So we've come to Grind in Greenwich and we're going to go to the, obviously the Naval College and the Pain and Sealand but we thought we'd get some lunch beforehand because we've got dinner at five so we thought we'd get a little bit of something so we've got a coffee, I've got some brunch bits and then um, Anne and Dave don't know where we're going for dinner, it's my choice and I've been before on the vlog so you'll recognise it I'm sure but yeah we're going to have some lunch, have a little look around, have some culture and then head back into town. <laughs> just about to head into the painted hall and um, the tickets were, weren't too expensive I'll leave the link down below if you want to actually come along and um, it is open to the public and I looked online and it is for the foreseeable future as well so that's good so um, we're about to head in and I think you can film and photograph inside so I'll take you along oh you can hear them rehearsing yeah for words but this is just it took our breath away highly highly recommend a visit and they gave us a wristband and said if we want to come back within the year it's free because I've paid so I'm gonna bring Dora so she can see this too because it is just incredible <laughs> sailing along the Thames is a much quicker way to get into the city so yeah, not too long till dinner. We've just finished up on the Uber Bowl and we're about to have dinner at one of my favourite restaurants. I haven't been here in quite some time, I recently went to the one in Canary Wharf but we're about to go into Six by Nico in Charlotte Street and they do the Tiesta menus every six weeks, the menu changes so this is Italian so this is what Dave and Anne don't know about and um, we're about to go in. Right. 
right, I am back home. Oh my goodness. This has been the most lovely 48 hours. Six by Nico was so delicious, so, so delicious. By the time this goes up, the the whole of the blogosphere is gonna be unfolding, so it's just a mad, mad old week. So obviously, I came home early. I've left my auntie and uncle in town. They're having a lovely bottle of wine. Then they're going to go back to their hotel. I'm gonna call it a night. I need to pack. I need to pop all of my suity bits and a jacket and all of that stuff um, in a little suit bag and get an early night because, yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow and it's gonna be me and Ewan, Mr. Carrington, presenting the Vlogger's Rewards. Ah, it's crazy. I'm so excited. I feel a little bit nervous, but honestly, oh, it's gonna be okay. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Very fast and quick 48 hour touristy trip around London. And um, if you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Lots of love, take care, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.